So did you, as Andra, or did you make yourself believe, of course, because you have to live in it? Yeah. So what is it like for you? Um, I mean, for, well, I do believe, right? I actually believe in the spirit world, and I do believe those things exist. Um, so I do believe Latoya, you know, who's um, the original story it is. Uh, but I had to do both, you know what I mean? So that, that is a huge part of me. <laughs> so, uh, you know, she does not believe, and she really doesn't believe. And a lot of her, I don't know if her, you know, her unbelief is her unbelief, but it's also based in resentment toward her mother, right? Anything that her mother is going toward, she wants to shy away from. Because, you know, because I think that she is, what, what I love about this, what I love about Ebony's character is with all of the trauma and with all of the pain, there is a huge well of love. She, as, as much as she is struggling with alcoholism, as much as she is struggling with even realizing that there is so much unhealed and undealt with trauma underneath, you know, she's still, having gone through everything she went through, because we're looking at a cycle of abuse in this movie, right? Alberta was abused, Alberta became an abuser. Those memories, if, if you know and you've experienced any of them, they're visceral. They do not leave you, you know what I mean? And so I think that she's trying to raise her kids and she's trying to love her mother through her cancer and supporting her while having these memories sort of replay in her head. So I think maybe every time she sort of encounters Berta's newfound faith or her righteousness, you know, 